There are a lot of people upset with Ben Riley's characterization in Across the Spider-Verse. If you're unfamiliar with the character, Riley was a pivotal part of Spidey comics in the mid-90s. He was a genetic clone of Peter Parker and was a hero known as the Scarlet Spider, before later briefly taking over as Spider-Man. Riley is from a period where Marvel didn't exactly know what to do with Spider-Man. They determined Peter Parker was no longer relatable to the target demographic of teenagers since he was now happily married, so Ben Riley was intended to be his replacement. He was also part of the much maligned Clone Saga, which is one of the most hated Spider-Man stories and a key part of 90 Spidey comics. Since then, however, Ben Riley has become a beloved character for many, and seeing the goofy Andy Samberg voiced character didn't sit right with a lot of fans, since this is the first big depiction of the character we've seen. However, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The Spider-Verse movies deal with variants of Spider-Man. They don't all have to be representative of the Earth-616 depictions fully. There can be a goofy Scarlet Spider in the multiverse that we laugh at because 616 Scarlet Spider still exists. Just like how we have Peter B. Parker or the sillier Spider-Man Noir. The depictions we see in these movies don't fully affect which iteration you love, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and click on screen for another video.